Hi folks and um well welcome back. Um yeah this is weird being back for the first time since um everything happened in my family. So I just want to first of all thank everyone who messaged me, wrote to me, whatever he's done. You just reached out to me in all honesty, so I say thank you to the lot of you. Um, yeah, it's not been easy the past few days with my family. Um, but we're together and we're stronger, and that's all that matters. So, today we're only going to play one game. First time I've done this in a while, actually, now I'm thinking about it. Um, I think the last time we only played a game was back in League One, I want to say. Apart from obviously the start of season stuff, but that doesn't count. Um, the reason for that is we've got a lot of games to catch up on. So I've played a lot of games offline, just to keep my mind occupied at the minute. Um, as well as that, we've got a few transfers to catch up on. And then today we've got Dundee, and then we've got a split. So, yeah, after the day's game we'll see the split. And from there... See who our last games are, and we will wrap up the rise of Edinburgh City. So, yeah, I know it's not been a long journey for us all, but I've enjoyed it. Hope you all have too. If you have, like, share, subscribe as always. Comments are welcome. But, yeah, um, without further ado, let's catch up. Let's see all the fixtures since the old firm double header. So, as you can see, the last game that you saw was the 2-0 defeat to Celtic. We played Lonestown 1-2-1, 0-0 no, no, against a a Aberdeen, 2-1 against Hamilton. We beat Hearts 2-0, we then went on a loss to Kamarnik, St Mirren, drew against St Johnston, had a friendly in December against Mallorca and lost. We beat Leipzig 3-2, the Scottish Cup, the journey started, we beat Dunfermline 4-1 after being 1-0 behind. We then lost four league games on the bounce to Dundee United, Rangers, Dundee and Celtic. We then beat Lumsden and Scottish Cup 5th round before drawing them a week later at home. Bet Hamilton, lost to Aberdeen, bet Kamarnik, lost to Celtic in the Scottish Cup, lost to Hearts in the league, lost to St Johnston. Uh, sorry, drew St Johnston, drew St Mirren and here we are now. Which means the league looks like this. We are sitting nice and fifth. We are guaranteed a top half place this year. First season in SPL. But it also means we're competing for European glories. So, that was really interesting to see that we'd be going for Europe. Um, it's kind of bittersweet now because I don't want to save to end, but 21's on the horizon. And I think it was Atomic Kittens that said all good things must come to an end. And this is this is been a good thing. This has been an amazing thing. So, Let's go over the January transfers and then let's get into the squad for the day. Best way to sum up January transfers was a lot of loans out. Um, that's more of business. And who did we bring in? We brought in one player, Frank Atangana. Atangana. On loan from PSG. He has another right back for us. So just more cover. When we had a player out suspended, really good player. So if we had players suspended or if we had um, a cup a game against Celtic where our player was uh, ineligible, it's good to bring him in. Right, today's team, let's go meet them. So, a further round of formation because end of season I thought it'd be fun. So we're playing a 4-2-1-2-1. So it's like a weird 4-4-2 diamond, I guess. Or a 4-2... Yeah. They've got a 4-2-1-3. I call it a weird diamond. So... Carlos is in goals. McGinn is out at left back. Still and Rodriguez are in the centres with Clark at right back. Wadham and Lawrence are defensive mids with Proud as our central mid in attack. And a sort of attacking playmaker role. We then have Mariah Welsh on the left and Freem on the right. And Diallo is up front. On the bench is Hogarth, Atagana, Dubios, Norton, Okocha, Bellevive, and Greenwood. So, Lauren Strong for us, well, I can fiddle around with things. But, yeah. 
I thought, why not? You know what? End of season, have a bit of fun. Two defence mids when we're playing balance, what could possibly go wrong? See this guy here? Absolutely amazing. He is a worldie. That's fine. I keep forgetting my master that. A lot of you want to avenge. Boom. Faith in yes. Perfect. Tunnel. McManus. Here we go. So this is the first game I've recorded since Monday, Tuesday night. So this has been about six days off dial. Oh, almost. Yes, it's been about five six days off from recording. Um, so those of you that have seen it and we've given away a penalty, perfect. Although Carlos is really good at penalties and he has become um, okay, he's brilliant. He's now got eight or nine caps for Ireland since starting this, and he only had one. So, him playing over here in Scotland's done amazing for him. Freem, nope, proud, Lawrence, Wadham, Clark. Play out, no. And they've got counter. So yeah, um, I, I've not had an easy week, okay? Those of you that I've seen, or that I've told, no why. And it's 1-0 to Dundee. However, that works in our favour, I'll explain why in a second. Um, but yeah. So, thank you. Hi. Great goal, and it's Jason Ferguson set up by Benevento. So, the reason works in our favour. We need to... Basically, the hope hearts lose today, and we'll finish in the top half. And if we finish in the top half, that means that the goal for this series, which was um, to become the most dominant team in Edinburgh, not in Europe, just in Edinburgh, it means that we'd achieve it with our final um, game, essentially, of the normal season. So, yeah, we've got extra incentive because this is the goal I set out. So, we've got to play at Livingston, be hearts. Um, you know, they've got their own battles, so... Time will only know. We could still finish top half, we could finish bottom half. Sorry if you heard that there. I just dropped an Allen key. I was fiddling on a bit way. But yeah, um can all hope for the best. They are absolute dominators. That was not a good shot. So yeah. Um Here we are fit for the league even season. We're going to into the final five. I, love, I hate how Scotland does it. I was going to say I love it. I don't. I hate it. So you play every team three times. Oh, Livingston have to do the lead. See? Miracles. So you play each team three times, right? And then you split into two groups or six. And then from there, you get five extra games. Which is just a nightmare because you're not playing even games at home and away. Like you should be. But... That was just 18 folds, I told you it was good. But it doesn't make any sense because why would you want to play Celtic away three times one season and only play them at home once, potentially, or things like that? I mean, I get if you're like, say, I don't know, Kamarnik, prime example, and they finished in the top half, so they're guaranteed a game against, let's say, Rangers, Hibs, Celtic, and maybe Hearts, okay? All three of those teams have got great travel and support. It's a known fact. So, let's say they get three of those teams at home, then they're guaranteed money. Oh, they are though. But yeah, so they're guaranteed money. So I can see why some teams would be like, yeah, it's fine, don't worry about it. I mean, I personally don't like it. But, I would rather see Scottish football done something different. So, I'd rather see the Premier League extended to... 16 teams, 18 teams, and just do one home, one away, like like most countries do. I mean, I think that's what separates the big leagues in the world. Look at, like, say, Germany and England, 
you wait for that day that you've got your rival at home. It's just once a season turns up, whatever. Oof. Once a season, you're guaranteed to have a Liverpool or Man United at home. If you're ever, you're gunning for those days. Do you know what I mean? It's an experience. I'm going to go out there and shout the man more. If I help, I'm going fully attacking for the last bit of this game. But yeah, I mean, oh, frame and goal. Facile Diallo. So yeah, I prefer Scottish Leeds got changed. There's something I don't know FM19 about it. I might fiddle around with the editor again this next FM coming up um, to get better Scottish. Well, I say better. What I'd like to see for Scottish Leagues. Um, it's not a view sure with many. Many people think that there's too many professional teams in Scotland, which I tend to disagree with because I don't think there's enough professional teams. Otherwise, we'd be competing. We'd like to Iceland, for example, with youth, but we're not. Um, where's your passion? Do you want to win this match? So, yeah, there's a, there's a lot left to be desired for in Scottish football, my aspect of it anyway. Um, there's certain teams that I think would suit the big leagues essentially better, so. A team like Spartans, for example, a team like Ochlanic Talbot, Fraserborough, um, yeah, Bucky Thistle, all of the guys in, in the Highland Leagues and the Lowland Leagues, whatever, they would suit like Ladbrokes League too pretty well, but they're not getting an opportunity, which really annoys me. Um, I mean, yeah, they can qualify to get. To try and get a league position. It's not going to guarantee them, but they can try to get a league position, and, and it's unfair. Me and Moz, I spoke about this on a stream before, right? Um, and I'm not just name dropping there. Like, legit, me and Moz, I spoke about this before, and we both said it's ridiculous. How Scottish, Scottish football is, it's like a laughing stock. Here, yeah, view the Frenchman. But yeah. Absolute laughing stock compared to other countries. And I know I'm going off on a tangent, I'm, not, I'm absolutely having a rant here. But this is my unfortunate feelings about it all. I do feel like Scottish football is on the back foot when it comes to certain things. Well, I'm just going to get sent off, watch this. Let's see, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I feel like Scottish football is slow reactive things. I'll, st- I'll sing that Tom Blue in the face. I'll watch just seen Hearts go 2 1 in front. Damn it. Um, I mean, if we finish in the bottom half, then we finish in the bottom half. It doesn't bother me. Dubious. Freem. Right, Welsh. Call them, call them the man, call them the hour. Oh, that's a re man. So now we need to hope that, if I've got my maths right, Livingston Pool will go back, but even now we still finish in the top six. Yeah, because Dundee now fall down. This is... Honestly, full manager maths sometimes. That. What a goal, Diallo. By Sal Diallo. Fourth. He's been a good wee alone for um, Liverpool. He just picks up balls and boom. There you go. So I think this formation, I may be better playing positively. I'm going to keep this formation to the end of the season. This is my new formation, I've decided. Because it gives us a bit more cover when we're playing teams like Rangers and Celtic, who just thump us for 20. Um, who have I got on the bench? Gotcha. I know it'd make more sense to bring off the boy with a yellow card, but you know. Freem whips it in, Duhan's got that. Not Stacey Duhan. <laughs> so funny. It's our last track. Ha 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 ha. Okay, Lawrence. Rye Welsh. 
Hold on. Frame. No. Prevent to Reslin. Ferguson. Miller's probably wide. This is. Tell you what. See if you're a neutral watching this on like Sky or whatever. Brilliant game for you to watch. Um, so now we're two points above Hearts. However, Hearts lose another goal to Livingston. Then they'll finish below us or something like that. I have no idea. Um, anyway, after this game, we'll see who we've got in the oh in the last few games, and then um, we'll decide. Well, I'll come back for the last two games, but I just want you to know who we're going to be facing, so you guys can get excited. That's Hearts confirmed in the top six as well. Cool. So we are top six, harsh top six. Cool. I like that though, it's um, the old firm, the new firm, because that's what Aberdeen and Dungeon United call themselves in the 80s. And the Edinburgh firms, that what we should be called? Yeah, why not? I mean, Harsh and Edinburgh City have never played each other competitively, I believe. So there wouldn't even be a name for the derby. Um, but we'll call it the end of performance, okay? Maybe we'll have them on the last day. I mean, I never know because nothing's been decided by the random um computer generated machine called Football Manager. But looks like our our first season in the Premiership. We are getting a top half finish, which is marvellous. I just, unbelievable. We've played so well throughout the season. We've had our ups, we've had our downs, but now, top six in the first season. There we go. Right, I'm waiting to find the boys. We can go inside the fixture to come back on. See you in a sec. Okay, folks, so we're coming back. I think this is going to be like the fourth time or fifth time we've seen these guys on um, YouTube. Obviously not the same time previously, but now it is at the same time. So, the final episode of The Rise of Edinburgh City will feature Rangers and Dungeon United. And we will wrap up the save at home in Meadowbank. So, I just want to say to everyone, thank you for watching. Make sure that you leave a comment or you like, you like, you share, you subscribe, whatever. Honestly, you guys have been amazing so far and over the last few days I appreciate it so much. Um, There's nothing more that I can say right now. So, until the next time, namaste and I'll see you later. Bye bye now.